Okay, we'll connect a three phase star unbalanced circuit where we have uh, line one powering this resistor, which is 33 ohms, line two powering this resistor, which is also 33 ohms, and line three powering this resistor, which is 33, in parallel with this resistor that is a 20 ohm resistor. We'll start by connecting our line one to this meter. So we'll measure the line one current from this meter here and then line two and line three, and this one will be a neutral current. Let's now create a star point. Now we have the neutral as well. So let's look at this very quickly. So line one is going to this power meter. Line one is then through the power meter going to our first load and then coming back from here, going to the power meter, back to our star point and the star point is connected to the meter and back. Line two is going from here to this meter here, from that meter to this resistor and from this resistor to the star point, which is also coming back to our circuit. The line three is going to this meter. From this meter, we're going to the third resistor, which is connected in parallel with this 20 ohm resistor. Star point, which is going to here, and that's going back to our neutral. So we have a complete circuit now. Okay, let's turn this on. So line one, two, and three all connected now. We can see that line one, the current it's drawing is 0.745 amps or 745 milliamps. Line two has 760 milliamps, which makes sense because these two are the same resistors, so voltage will be, uh, current will be fairly similar. And the third one here, we have 1.8 amps. So we have three different currents going into this set of loads and coming out, we have 1.8 zero eight amps in the neutral right so that's our neutral current now if we were to turn the neutral off we can see how our neutral current goes to zero and the currents now have changed in each line for example in line one we have about 0.89 amps or 890 or 900 milliamps somewhere around 910 milliamps here which is the line two and line three has dropped now to 1.25 amps. The voltage would have also changed, but let's look at that with the measurements. Okay, now we have a voltmeter. We're going to measure each of these voltages. So let's turn them all on. Neutral is connected, which means we should be able to measure our voltages from this star point to line one. So phase A is 25 volts. Phase B is also 25 volts and phase C is also, oh, it's a little bit less, maybe because it's drawing a little bit of current there, it's higher current, so 23.5 volts, which is still quite close. Let's now go back to the first one and turn off the neutral or disconnect the neutral and see what happens to the voltages. Disconnecting the neutral has changed our phase A voltage to about 30 volts. Phase B voltage should be roughly the same, about 30 volts, because both of those loads were the same. And this way, this is where we'll see the difference. Phase C, we're seeing 15.6 volts. So a big difference in voltages for each phases now, just because the neutral is disconnected. Now let's check the voltage across the broken neutral. So at the broken neutral, we have around 8.5 volts. So that's a fair bit of voltage drop. That shifted the point from zero, which is our neutral, to about 8.5 volts. Let's have a look at the calculations and graphical representation of this to understand these aspects a little bit clearly. I hope all this made sense. If you found this video useful, please like it. And if you want regular updates of my videos, Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.